So let's just land and check in with ourselves. So whatever you're showing up with tonight, it's perfectly fine. That's just where we're at. And I just need a thumbs up from without the sound. Is that okay? You can hear me all right? Very good. Okay, so if you are sitting at a desk, just a reminder, if your feet are down on the ground to have them in a parallel position rather than crossed at ankles or crossed at the knees and something underneath your feet to raise them up a little bit. Uh, make sure your sits bones are sitting on something firm and also raised. And if your knees are tight and your hips are tight, you can put a couple of cushions underneath each knee. Hands are in the meditation mudra. Right hand nestled in the left with the thumbs touching. Can take a deep breath. Just let out all the tension from today, if you had any. Let's just imagine our spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. Imagine the crown of your head is heading towards the ceiling. And the head is slightly tipped forward, the eyes are down, looking along the length of the nose, tip of the tongue and the roof of the mouth. And let's just go ahead and relax the jaw and bring your attention to the crown of the head again. Relax the scalp there the forehead and the eyes, the back of the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the area around the mouth. And bring your awareness to the back of the head and relax the scalp there. Now imagine you're shining a nice warm torch into your ear, filling it with a nice warm light. And as you do that, it just relaxes the inner ear. And notice what happens when you imagine relaxing the inner ear. And then your jaw relaxes, the tongue, back of the tongue, the temples. Relax the neck, release some of the tension in the neck, and the shoulders and your shoulder blades and the area in between the shoulder blades. Try and bring some awareness there and relax your throat and the chest, the belly, the arms, hands, fingers, feet and toes. And let's just bring our mind to the breath. And notice the sensation of the air as you're breathing in, slightly cooler in the air you're exhaling. And welcome Elizabeth, Manuel and Victor. And if there are any sounds in your environment, just notice what, what sounds you are attracted to. What distracts your mind? What catches your attention in terms of sound. And if there is someone in your home wandering around, if you can hear some device, if you pets, if there's wind. You can just allow those sounds to be there. And then just allow them to fade into the background as you bring your attention back to the breath. And watch your thoughts arising, allow them to abide and then to dissolve. And if you don't engage with the thoughts, they will, they'll just kind of run. 
We'll just let them run the river of mental moments. And try not to judge yourself or your thoughts. Bringing the mind back to the breath. So let's think of all the people of our life. Starting with our loved ones. People who are in our close circle of friends. Who we're comfortable with. Who we share things with. Who support us. And then there's those we don't like terribly much. And then there's our strangers. And just a reminder that these relationships can change place in our life at any time. The friend, the enemy and the stranger can change places. So it's pretty good. It's good if we can perhaps maybe not take for granted those relationships that are very close that are supportive, takes a lot of merit. And then also equally, try not to have such a strong concrete view or a negative view about the people we don't like because that could change. And if it does, sometime down the track, we might feel a bit embarrassed. And then all these three different groups of people, they're all the same the same as us in their wish to be happy and their wish to avoid suffering and with this unbelievable potential or this enlightened mind they're equal so let's just think we'll do this meditation this evening for all the people of our life and we can think um, we have I think it's Karen who's kind of seems to be caught up in this fire in northern New Mexico and uh, Mary, who's not feeling very well. And we can think of all the people in Ukraine, Poland, and people who are still suffering from COVID. So I think we'll do this meditation tonight for their benefit. And also if there's someone in your life, maybe you love, who's probably not interested in this kind of thing, and maybe you'd like to bring them into the meditation with you. Have them sit next next to you. Just imagine they're there with you doing the practice and the mantra. So just to remember there is no negativity that cannot be purified. And this purification process that we're doing, it's a psychological one. And we're working at a psychological and, and, and energetic level here. And we create negativity with our mind, so we can change it by creating positivity with our mind. And we're doing this by applying the four opponent powers in this Vajrasattva practice. And the first of these is the power of regret. So just bring to mind something you have done to harm, <coughs> excuse me, a sentient being today or yesterday, this week, this life nor past lives and think of specific actions of both your body and your speech and sincerely regret from the depths of the heart any harm you've done. And this reason to regret is based on this logic of karma. We experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions. So having harmed others, we ourselves will necessarily experience suffering in the future. So we probably don't want any more suffering than we're already experiencing, some of us. So the, the logical thing is to pull these karmic seeds out before they ripen as future suffering for us and think, I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows because I do not want the future suffering. I'm sick of suffering and also regret any anger and attachment and the rest of the cause of why we harm others and think again, I am sick of this suffering. And then think, what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So here we come to the power of reliance. Excuse me, rely upon. We turn to the Buddha, the doctor, who has the methods that we can use to purify. And we're not asking him for forgiveness. We just want to use his methods to heal ourselves, to purify our minds. So visualize Vajrasattva above the crown of your head and you can imagine this is also your teacher 
your mama, your trusted mentor manifesting in this aspect for your benefit. <clears throat> He's made of radiant, blissful white light sitting cross-legged on a white lotus. And this lotus, although born out of mud, is untainted by that mud, just like our enlightened potential born out of our delusions, but yet untainted by them. He has this beautiful, radiant, sweet face. His eyes are long and peaceful and full of love and compassion for all of us. He has no judgmental, critical thoughts towards you. He's just accepting you exactly as you are, where you are tonight, whatever it is you've shown up with. It's totally fine. It's perfect. So he has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom. The right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion. And there being crossed represents the union of these two, which symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. He's wearing a five pointed crown on his head. It's embedded with jewels and he's wearing jewelry on his ears, around his neck, arms, wrists, and ankles. And he has a belt of jewels as well, a fine golden chain around his waist. He's wearing um, celestial silken, it's almost like robes and scarves in the Royal Indian style. He has a aura of light around his head and around his body. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. And in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings. So we can think of the beings we have harmed and those who have harmed us. So bring to mind, first of all, somebody you've harmed in your life or even this week. And then think of developing some level of compassion for them. Think of them being, wishing for them to be free from suffering. And the same for the people who have harmed you. Because of the harm they've caused you, they are going to experience a ripening of suffering in the future. We can develop compassion for them because of that. So think we're going to do this practice of purification for all of their sake. So now we come to the practice, the actual medicine. And this is the recitation of the mantra and the visualization. So first of all, we purify the body. And Guru Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar coming out of the hose or a strong waterfall very forcefully from his heart. And this arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body, filling you completely. And it keeps pouring into you and forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you've ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid. And this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left as you recite the mantra. Duda Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa, Anaracta Mebawa, Sawa City, Mempi Yatsa, Sawa Kama Sita May, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bagoan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame, Mutsa Vajra Bawa, Maha Samaya Satpa A Pompe, Umbadra Zapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajra Zapa Dina Patita, Duda Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa, Anaracta Mebawa, Sawa City, Mempi Yatsa, Sawa Kama Sita May, Sitam Shriam Guru Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bagoan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame, Mutsa Vajra Bawa, Maha Samaya Satpa A Pompe, Umbadra Sapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, 
Dita Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Sipokaya Mebawa, Anarakta Mebawa, Sawa Sidi Mipiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajama Me Mutta Vajrapawa Mahasamaya Sattva A Hum Pe, Um Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita, Dita Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Sipokaya Mebawa, Anarakta mebawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sidam shriyam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe am vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita duda mebawa sutokaya mebawa sapokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me Sidam Shriam Guru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutta Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe Um Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Duda Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sidam Shriam Guru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutta Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hompe, um Vajrasapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajrasapa Dina Patita, Duda Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Sipokaya Mebawa, Anarakta Mebawa, Sawa Sidi, Mepiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama, Mimutta Vajrabawa, Mahasamaya Sata A Hompe. So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified. And think there is no way you could do anything that benefit others now with your body. And the next is a purification of speech. And Guru Vajrasattva, again, very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra. And this arcs around and enters quite forcefully your crown, filling your entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech. And it kind of is forced up quite strongly and into, into space just kind of disappears. So all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and lying and talking badly about others behind their backs, all of this instantly purified and disappears with the mantra. Um Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sapokaya Mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe um vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita duda mebawa sutokaya mebawa sapokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha ha ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maho samaya sattva a hum pe um vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita duda mebawa sutokaya mebawa sipokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe um vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita duda mebawa sutokaya mebawa sipokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe um vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita duda mebawa sutokaya mebawa sipokaya mebawa Anarakta mebawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe um vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita duda mebawa sutokaya mebawa sipokaya mebawa anarakta mebawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me 
Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ho Bhagawan Sawatata Gata Vajamame Mutza Vajabawa Maha Samaya Sapa Ah Hum Te Um Vajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajasapa Dina Patita Duda Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitam Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ho Bhagawan Sawatata Gata Vajamame Mutza Vajabawa Maha Samaya Sapa Ah Hum so again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified and imagine it's not possible to do anything other than benefit others now with your speech. Just imagine as soon as they hear the sound of your voice, it benefits their mind. You leave them a message on your phone, it benefits their mind. If they hear you coming, it benefits their mind. It would be wonderful. If you had that kind of an effect, positive effect on people. So next is a purification of the mind. And Vajrasattva now very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra and his arc around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So it's just the same as when we walk into a room and we switch on a light, a room that's dark, and we switch on a light, and that light instantly dispels the darkness in that room. So it's the same as when here the light from Vajrasattva's heart pours into you, touches your heart, and the moment this light touches your heart, it instantly dispels all the darkness of the negativity of the mind, all these heavy emotions like anger and bitterness and jealousy and grudges and wishing to harm and depression and this kind of sticky attachment and anxiety and not feeling like we're enough. All this is purified by the light. It disappears in this recitation of the mantra. Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Duda Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasiri Mepiyatsa Sawakama Sitame Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawatata Gata Vajramame Mudza Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sapa Ah Hom Pei Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Duda Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasiri Mepiyatsa Sawakama Sitame Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawatata Gata Vajramame Mudza Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sapa Ah Hom Pei Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Duda Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasiri Mepiyatsa Sawakama Sitame Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawatata Gata Vajramame Mudza Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sapa Ah Hom Pei Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Duda Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasiri Mepiyatsa Sawakama Sitame Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mudza Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sapa Ah Hom Pei Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Duda Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasiri Mepiyatsa Sawakama Sitame Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mudza Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sapa Ah Hom Pei Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Duda Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa, Anarakta Mebawa, Sawasidi Mepiyatsa Sawakama Sitame, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutza Vajrabawa, Maha Samaya Sapa Ah Hom Pei, Um Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita, Duda Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa, Anarakta Mebawa, Sawasidi Mepiyatsa Sawakama Sitame, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutza Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sapa Ah Hom Pei. So again, be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of all of our own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech, are totally purified, finished. And think there is no space in your heart now for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So now is the purification of the imprints 
of negativity of the body, speech and mind. So we can, if you wish, we can recite a couple of mantras for each of the visualization of the body and of the speech and of the mind. Or if that's too much, you can just imagine light and nectar pouring into you from Vajrasattva's heart and the moment it, and it fills you completely and the moment it touches your heart, it eradicates completely even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from the mind as you recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Nibiyata Sawakama Sutame Sitam Shriam Kuruhum Ha Ha Ho Bhagavan Sawatata Gata Vajramame Mutta Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Saka A Pompe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa and our rector may bow a sour city, may be yet a sour comers that I may sit am shriam kuru hum ha ha ho bago one sour tata got a vajama may mutta vajabawa maha samaya saka a pompe and vajasapa samaya manupalaya vajasapa dina patita duda may bow a sutokaya may bow a supokaya may bow a and our rector may bow a sour city, may be yet a sour comers that I may sit am shriam kuru hum ha ha ho bago one Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya saka a pompe. Um vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita. Tida me boa, sutokaya me boa, supokaya me boa. Anarakta me boa, sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya saka a Pompe, and Vajrasapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajrasapa Dina Patita, Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Sapokaya Mebawa, Anarekta Mebawa, Sawa Siddhi, Mepi Yatta Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama, Me Mutta Vajrabawa, Maha Samaya Saka A, Pompe, and Vajrasapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajrasapa Dina Patita, Duda Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Sapokaya Mebawa, and her actor may bow us, Sava Sidi, may be Yatta Sava Kama Sita may, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha Ha Ho Bagawan, Sava Tata Gata Vajrama, may Mutta Vajrabawa, Maha Samaya Saka A Pompe, and Vajrasapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajrasapa Dina Patita, Duda may bow us, Sutokaya may bow us, Sapokaya may bow us, and her actor may bow us, Sava Sidi, may be Yatta Sava Kama Sita may, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha Ha Ho Bagawan, Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya saka a pompe. Now feel you are completely purified, not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to omissions have been removed. And so next is the power of resolve. And this is the most crucial step in this purification process. I mean, they're all pretty important steps. But this is a determination that we make to not harm or to refrain from harming. Best, not harm ever again. But that's, I think, for all of us, probably a little bit unrealistic because we have these habits and we're human and we say things we don't mean when we get upset or tired or angry. Or someone challenges us. So we just have to forgive ourselves for our habits and our our humanness and just be humble and be aware that we are going to trip up probably again and again and again but I urge you to rejoice the progress that you're making and that you have made over the past 12 months it's really amazing and I can feel it in the zoom the concentration is it's like uh, more focused so there's change happening and step by baby step, we refrain, we make a decision, we're going to refrain from harm, we're going to try to refrain from harm, and then what happens, you'll find, is that the situation will arise where maybe once upon a time you used to react, or you used to say something, or you used to go down a certain track, and then all of a sudden there's kind of like an emergency light in your mind, blinking, warning, 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 don't go there. And that's just your morality is 
developing and increasing your kindness, your compassion, and all these positive qualities that we have within us, when we start to refrain from harming, when we start to refrain from sort of negativity, our own light will shine through. It's like we continuously cover our, our light with this kind of dust. And that's all it is. That light within us has always been there and it is who we have always been. Okay. Imagine Guru Vajrasattva is delighted with us and wanting to merge with your mind, melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and think, my Guru's body, speech and mind, Vajrasattva's body, speech and mind, and my own body, speech and mind are the same thing. I wonder if you call this union oneness. So next, Rinpoche recommends to meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness, there is no I, the creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma. And there is no negative karma created. So place your mind at whatever level you understand emptiness. Place your mind there for a little while. And we can think of all phenomena as empty, not existing from their own side. We can think of things as being cause and effect, dependent arisings. We can also think perhaps the way the world is appearing to me, the way things appear to me, and not necessarily be the way they actually exist. So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy we have created doing this purification to all living beings, thinking may all the virtuous karma have created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And for his holiness, the Dalai Lama, the wish granting, wish fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. Let's sing the Tibetan. Tub Shulchan Jin Jam Gon Gyalwe Ten Zing Kyong Pelwe Kun Zodog Porze Chog Sum Kurawe Leg Mon to Drug Dog soul do jay on do job and for Lama Ursul, Venable One, to you whose kindness exceeds out of all the conquerors for those wanderers in far places, especially the West, mindful of your loving concern for us and intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. And for Geshe Shara, beloved teacher, leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. Okay, thank you so much, everybody.